بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله السمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد One is of Allah. Our life is going to be on one path as well. Well, we can't consider that the only one is Allah. Um, but here, let me, let me just get into this subject. We have brothers and sisters looking to get married. Need a husband, need a wife. And instead of getting married, peace of the love, brothers and sisters are getting married, peace of the peace of the green dollar bill. They're running after this dunya. This dunya means more to them. Then Islam and, and, and obeying the law. We need to stop that. We need to educate ourselves. Some some sisters. There was one sister. I wanted to talk to her about marriage and so on and so on. He said, ah, oh, okay, you can talk to me. But in her mind, somebody had it in her mind that she wanted to. She's an African American, and I'm an African American. And she didn't have it in her mind or in her heart to marry somebody black. Why I say that is because of her accent. I wanted to talk Islam with her. Every time I, I, I mention something about Islam, she would say, MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah, and then she would say no more. She kept me on the fear of hope by not just saying straight out, no, I don't want to marry you. She was just watching about all the home of the yard, but she didn't ask no questions. She didn't ask nothing about what I knew about the game or, or how much I knew about the game or, you know, I was trying to show her. But um, that didn't spark her attention or her interest. And many brothers and sisters, they go for the same thing. This particular sister, I'm talking Islam to her, and she's talking to another brother, which is Haram. The Surah of Islam says you can't, a, a sister can't talk to more than one person at a time in regards to marriage. It's like a competition they may be doing. Which one do you feel you detain me more or better? And this white Arab looking um, Muslim brother, mm, he would have been living in the United States and, hey baby, he was a good fan. I so would like to squeeze your boot. Oh, hey, hey, hey. He didn't want to talk nothing about Islam. And she said, hey, 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 hey. Next thing I know, she had her and that they have to do with marriage. She put in papers for him to come over to the United States and everything else. He got here and um, he uh, spanked that dead booty a couple of times. 
Then he started running the streets. Still no Islam, you know, she told, oh, look, my husband, he could teach me Arabic, he could do this, he could do that. And he wasn't even sitting down to teach him, he had smack her up a couple of times, called the end word a couple of times. And she was complaining about he wasn't teaching her Islam, he wasn't teaching her no Quran. Wasn't teaching her Arabic so she could read the Quran herself. You know, and all this stuff like that. As soon as he got his green card, boom, he was gone. Left him with, left him with a couple of babies and everything, and he was gone. When he came back to get his kids, got his kids, took his kids over overseas, and she ain't never seen him no more. Didn't see him, no kids, or anything else. Then she turned around. After, you know, he abandoned her and everything else. And I guess he um, got a divorce or something. She turned around, she still wanted to get married and everything else like this here. What did she do? Another black brother stepped to her, wanted to marry her, wanted to sit down and talk about Islam and everything else. And what did she do? She was found another Arab. Married him. This is running around with a house full of kids. Right in the air. They ain't none of them to be found. I think a couple of them are dead now because they died from age or something or other. And all of them was the same. As soon as they got that green card, they were gone. They won't have anything to do with that. You sisters, you sisters, you're, you're doing this here constantly. The brother comes to you and sit down. Uh, let's talk about Quran. Let's read some Quran or Hadith. Oh, uh, this brother ain't excited. Let me go find me an Arab because he be married and he give me some excitement. This is doing um, Facebook. Tell me, I need me a husband. I need to get married. We got a brother over here who. He wants to marry you and running, I mean, he, he's running after Quran and Sunnah, or to talk about Quran and Sunnah, and you want to go marry an Arab. He doesn't miss Arab enough to do it. Arabs are turning around, they ain't even teaching nothing. They don't even teach Arabs think that black people are the worst things on the face of the earth. But they have to marry one in order to get that faith. One of them has one of them marry me. As soon as I started telling her, telling her about, let's talk about Quran and Sunnah. Oh, I don't even put on these guys, my brother. You know, um, that's old on um, Islam. And I'm a modern looking. We need to get up here and stop that. We need to learn our dreams and start doing what's with them. Allah says, do what those two and one of them do. Those Arabs who have been married, they should have known them to be. Those Arabs who have been married, they should have known them to be. Stop it. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrahmanirrahim. 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 Iyakam na'abdul wa 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 iyakam na'abdul Thank you.